Welcome to The Rebound. I'm Matthew Mugno, joined by David Marr. We had previewed this weekend series, and now we're wrapping it up. David, what did you see out of Ian Shane tonight, who you had talked about in our preview? He was phenomenal. Ian Shane is one of the best goaltenders in the ECAC, maybe one of the best goaltenders in the country, and he was phenomenal for Cor Cornell tonight. Obviously not the result you want to lose 2-0. You only give up one goal, but that's the stat that stands out. Another only one goal game for Ian Shane. He was everywhere in the crease. He was diving on loose pucks. His rebound control was solid tonight. He played a tremendous game for Cornell. He was their, by, by far their best player on the ice for the Big Red. And it's unfortunate to see that kind of effort for Ian Shane just to come up that short against the Bobcats, who, by the way, looked absolutely phenomenal, especially on the defensive side. The Bobcats killed off four penalties. At one point, they killed off a five-on-three. And Yanni Perez was only challenged with nine shots on goal the entire game through all three periods. Halfway through the second period, the Cornell Big Red only generated three shots on goal. So Cornell, in the words of Jake Quillen, the Bobcat forward that scored the two goals for the victory, stated that the Cornell Big Red did not bring their best game, and the Bobcats escaped with a 2 nothing victory. Tonight. Yeah, yeah, I think it speaks to the, the Bobcats, the way they were able to come back. They were down 2 nothing against Colgate Friday night to come back, win that game, and carry that over. Getting a little confidence going into this weekend, this Saturday's game against Cornell. Certainly looked like they had it. They were all over Cornell from the start at the beginning of the game. Outshooting them 17 and nothing. That's a rare stat in a game of hockey to outshoot them 17 nothing. And then to hold them to nine shots the rest of the game. They had 15 block shots. They were four for four on the penalty kill. By far the best defensive game the Bobcats have played this season. And it's only game eight in the season. There's still a long way to go for the Bobcats. And they're only going to get better from here. Well, the Bobcats win 2 nothing here tonight. As for the, the rebound, I'm Matthew Mugno with David Marr.